What's going on guys? Welcome to Grass 23. Actually, it's a Samit video. Welcome to Samit HQ. What's up guys? <laughs> yeah, we're here with Samit at Samit HQ. He is so gracious enough to let us uh, come to the shop and yeah. show us around. For sure, man. I, got, I got, still gotta say again, it is surreal like seeing you in person because I've been watching you for like so long. I've been watching you since 12, 13. So I don't remember when that is, but tell me what cars I was working on. Uh, this one? All right, yeah, this, so OG. Like the street. All right, okay, OG then, OG. Yeah. So did you ever see the white 33, the one before this one, or did you come after that? I've seen videos of it, but only because I've-, I've Oh, you went back, back. okay, yeah. yeah. But so. when I started watching you, it was, it was because of this car. Yeah. Because I've always loved Skylines, again, from being from the US. Yeah. This is just something we don't have. This is my baby, man. This is like the hero car. Everyone thinks that this is the hero car, the pink SR, S15 back there, but this is like the hero car. Yeah, so I've, this one, Loki, I've been like hoping that you get back into it. I will. Again, probably like a lot of people have commented, I'm sure. Yeah, now we will be. It's just something that I want to take my time with and I don't want to pull this all apart and make it another shell lying around until right. I have everything I need. Cause like this thing, it's my baby. So, you know, I'm going all out, like a oh, little dude. bit of rust there. So I've already got new panels to weld and replace stuff like that. But yeah, this thing's gonna get a very special engine package. Something that I've always dreamed of doing since I've ever been in cars and skylines and nice. stuff. So yeah. Yeah, this was actually something that I was hoping to build myself. Again, with the prices of Skylines climbing up and up yeah. and up, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to afford an R34. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I started looking at R33, and then I saw your car with R34 front end. I'm like, I've never seen that before. And it looks, it flows so well. Cause usually when people do front end conversions, like the lines don't match up. Yeah. They just don't look good. Yeah. And you could tell it, it was just something tacked on afterwards. But whereas this car, like the lines just, flow really well like yep. it looks natural so yeah I fell in love with this yeah no i feel like the 34 front looks really good on a 33 just because you get the aggressive front end compared to the curvy rear end which is like right. kind of the best of both worlds depending on what type of guy you are but <laughs> you know like right. the, it's all in the fenders because you kind of have like the squarey like thing coming into the headlights here yeah but how the custom fenders are made is you kind of like you cut here and then you go up like this and up oh, into okay. here so then like you kind of have like the 34 fender here and the, but then the 33 fender here so you still get that body line across. I see. Yeah, and then that's what makes it really good. So yeah. it's really hard to find fiberglass fen fenders for these now so they're pretty much custom made. Yeah. You need four fenders to make two. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely worth it though. Like that, that really makes the car. Yeah, I bought it with the 34 conversion already done so yeah. I was super blessed to be able to get that. Um, and then obviously we had a crash at one point drifting, so we had to rebuild the fender and I learned the hard way how hard it was to get it done. Yeah. My body guy said, don't ever come back. That, 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 at that time he was my body guy, not anymore for that reason. But yeah, oh, man. no, I love this thing. It's great. It'll be back real soon, hopefully. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us around, man. No worries, dude. I'll let you get back to your business. Sounds good. Thank you. It's good to have you guys over here from Arizona. I got to get back out there soon. Probably yeah, sometime. Yeah, for sure. Now. Gotta well, hang out with Hoss Boss. Hunting? Take you parts hunting around the junkyard. Oh, parts hunting? Hell yeah. That sounds good, man. Cool. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, so like you guys saw, we're at Samit's shop. Yeah, he, he gave us full reign and let us check out all of his cars. So we're gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough of all his builds. I'm sure you're familiar with Samit's channel, so. <laughs> GTR here, that's kind of weird. Is it a real GTR? Yeah, it is, okay. Oh, dude, this S13 looks kind of nice. It's like teal green. I guess I don't need to tell you guys, but we're gonna go over each build a little bit. You guys already saw the 33.4, which is my personal favorite. Then we got the Bogan 32, which has been all the rage in the latest videos. It's so crazy seeing this in person. You can see we got upgraded coils now. It was funny seeing this this car when he got it because right off the bat I was like this is gonna snowball into something uh, way more serious than he intended and yeah as you can see it's definitely snowballing. Another more controversial car is the Crown. So as you guys saw he picked this up uh, from the auction just to scrape it around and drive it around slammed. So. Gotta say, I'm really big fan of the wheels. Definitely glad he changed them from the, the black wheels with the chrome lip. These fit the car so much better. I think it definitely looks quite a bit cleaner. And it's got the full VIP interior with the little tray on the passenger seat and everything. Super cool car. And the back seat, I'm not touching that because you guys already know if you saw the video. 
not such an after 10 foot stick. So let's move on. <laughs> and then the, what, what everybody says is the hero car, but again, even Sam had agreed with, agreed with me, this isn't the hero car, the 33.4 is. So hopefully you guys will be seeing that come back around the channel soon. Yeah, super, super great job on the paint on this car. I'm like, this is, this is amazing. So this is kind of what we want to do with our, our S14 is like uh, S15 front end conversion. And hopefully, hopefully we can find some lights for it. <laughs> That's one of, that was one of the things that we had on our shopping list at Up Garage, but I was hoping to at least see the S15 D-Max taillights at Up Garage, but they didn't even have those. They just had the S14s. So I guess we're gonna have to keep looking for that. And of course these are based on ReZero. So for RAM, we have RAM. Awesome blue S15, which I'm sure you guys saw was like a super, super good deal that he got on this car. All the awesome parts, the air ride, coilovers, brakes, and for just like a smoking deal. So this, this was super cool. But I'm sure as you guys have seen, it needs a significant amount of work. But yeah, this is kind of what we get into too with our S14. You guys saw it. You know, the trunk was pretty bashed in. We had to do a lot of panel repair and stuff like that. We're all very familiar with having to drill out spot welds and replace sheet metal. Not a fun part of the process, but sometimes it's it's necessary, especially in this case. I mean, when you can see through your panels, it's probably not a, not a very structural piece of the car. So definitely needs to be addressed. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for our tour of Salmon HQ. See you guys next time and time to grab something to eat again. <laughs> All right, this is our contribution to Samet's front door. Always do your best, like we always say. And we're gonna put it up here. There it is, guys. Just like that, we're out of here. <laughs>